Good morning, wife. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today, I'll be discussing Fifty Shades Freed, the final installment of the trilogy following the steamy romance of Anastasia and Christian Grey, and a film that has brought me to the profound realization that I am dead. I am dead, and as a punishment for my sins, I have been trapped in some kind of film purgatory where I'm forced to review these derivative sequels and disposable franchises over and over again for all eternity. Directed by James Foley and starring Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades Freed continues the story of the newly betrothed Mr. and Mrs. Gray as they settle into a married life in Seattle, a narrative so poorly constructed that as I watched it, I suddenly shook from my years-long stupor and realized I have never in all of my existence left this cosmic hell that is this movie review studio. For as long as I can remember, I've been imprisoned here, forced to watch an endless cavalcade of rote, insipid filmmaking, one after another, after another. Indeed, this is my whole world. Every DVD that I watch is slipped in on a tray through a crack in the door over there. And recently, for some baffling reason, they've also been putting this, this revolver on it, too. I don't know. But either way, the, the door is locked, and as much as I scream or bang on it, no one comes. I've never, I've never seen another person. I don't sleep or eat. Frankly, I don't even know if there's anyone watching this video. Is there a single living soul out there listening? I mean, look. There is a camera filming this review, but if you turn it around, there isn't even a crew. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Am I being tortured? Cinematographer John Schwartzman proves a steady hand, but in the end, is unable to overcome uneven source of tears. Is that what you want? What is this what you want? Oh, please. Please, no! Please! Do this anymore! <laughs> it's a hard problem.
Ultimately, Fifty Shades Freed provides a fittingly sexy send-off for the franchise, albeit one that may only satisfy longtime series fans. For the Onions Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.